Hi everyone, I am Michaela Zettel, a physiotherapist at Instill Physio, and this is... I'm Kristen, <laughs> Kristen <laughs> a physiotherapist. So this is our very first video that we're doing um, with uh, the coronavirus. Um, we've had to close our practice down um, temporarily, hopefully, but we're doing our part for social distancing. So um, we are closed for business for a minimum of two weeks. And so in light of that, we have decided that we're going to try to film some videos and teach you guys some things that are going to help you get through this time. And um, yeah, so here we are. So be patient with us because this is our first time doing it. So the first thing we thought we would talk about is the immune system, which is obviously very important right now for everybody. And uh, one of the positives is that most of us have the time to work on the things that we're going to teach you about. Um, so what better way to kick off our education series than talking about the immune system. So I'm going to hand it over to Kristen, who is going to teach you about that. Uh, so the part of the nervous system that we're going to talk about today um, is the autonomic nervous system. Um, so that's the automatic part of your nervous system. So the part that we don't have conscious control over. And the autonomic nervous system can be divided into two parts, um, which you can see here. So there's the sympathetic nervous system and then the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system um, is the part of the nervous system that helps us respond to stressful situ situations. Um, it is a primitive response. It's designed to protect, protect us from danger. Um, and it's also important to note that it responds similarly regardless of whether the stress is um, like physical or psychological. Um, and this part of the nervous system causes an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, sweating, um, and other responses that are meant to support our survival. Um, then the opposing part of the autonomic nervous system is the parasympathetic nervous system. So this is the part that is more prevalent when we're in a state of rest. Um, and the, um, there is always, so both of these parts of the nervous system are always, um, are always functioning. Typically, there is usually a low level of sympathetic um, drive in the nervous system, but it is meant to ramp up really just during times of stress as sort of a way to protect us. But oftentimes um, in modern society, most of us have too much sympathetic nervous system drive and not enough parasympathetic. And so this is a problem because this has been shown to have a role on immune function. So when we have too much sympathetic nervous system tone or, or drive, it decreases our immune function. Um, and it also contributes to an increase in inflammation. And so there are lots of things that, that we can do or strategies that we can use that we're going to talk to you about in the coming weeks. Um, that are very practical solutions that you can use to help decrease the amount of sympathetic nervous system drive um, and to increase parasympathetic nervous system. So, so Kristen, can yeah. you talk about, um, so with the sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, sort of state of stress, um, what are some examples of, of what might cause that that people might not think about? So I think, uh, so the thing people might not think about, I think if we go back to like what it was, um, or the example that this is an ex a primitive example that people um, commonly will use when they're talking about the sympathetic nervous system would be that it was meant to, um, that it was meant to protect you in a situation of danger. So that might be something like, um, if an animal was going to attack you, your sympathetic nervous system would kick into gear so it would direct blood flow to your muscles so that you would be able to escape that situation, um, directing it away from your organs, um, increasing your heart rate, blood pressure so that you would be able to escape that situation. So in, um, like in 
times right now, probably I would think the most most common um, thing that people might be experiencing would be um, stress. So it is a stressful time. There's a lot of uncertainty. Um, and I think it's important to know that your body reacts in a very similar way as if you were being like chased by a bear, that sort of thing. So it can be, yeah, it can be anything like um, stress of any form. I right. Think. I don't know if that answers your question. But. Yeah, and um, it does absolutely. Um, I think too, like an example of beat would be uh, another thing to add is like that very acute response would be like if somebody scares you or startles you, and then you have that mm -hmm. urge to run away, or you freeze and your heart rate elevates and you just feel like panicked, um, and you just want to protect yourself. That would be something that we. Some right. people think it's funny to do to each other right now. Um, and then, uh, as you said, maybe one we don't notice or, or pay attention to is that um, less kind of acute sudden, but everybody's feeling it right now with the coronavirus. Um, our society tends to be uh, all about um, constant stimulation to the nervous system, whether that's like work deadlines, working overtime, needing to work out, needing to do all these things, and everybody's trying to accomplish these things that just aren't even realistic. That also creates a constant level of stress that we just start to not even notice. Um, would you agree with that as well? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, awesome. So, was there anything else you wanted to say about the sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous system? I don't think so. I think just, um, do you want to touch on the different strategies that we'll be going into more detail about? Sure. So as, yeah, as you can see in this infographic, um, we have quite a few different things that we can do that are well within our control and our ability, um, and most of them are all things that we can do very safely right now while the coronavirus um, social distancing restrictions are in place. Um, so we're gonna be going through each one of them and giving you some strategies that you can do to implement that. Um, so we have meditation, uh, mindful movement, acupuncture, Obviously, that one we are not going to be doing right now, but we will talk about it. Um, quality sleep, exercise. So start today, go out for a walk. It's pretty nice outside. Um, diaphragmatic breathing and then eating well. So these are all things that will help you with your immune system. And they do that by helping regulate that balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So... If you have anything you want to know about, we will be posting our next video tomorrow with starting with some strategies. But right now, let's just say everybody go out for a walk and stay six feet away from anybody who comes near you. <laughs> you can still say hi, though. Um, so you can still talk to people. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if there's anything you want to know specifically or you have any specific questions about the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system and how it affects your immunity, hit us up. Let us know. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bear with me while I learn how to turn off the recording. <laughs> okay, bye.